welcome to the MBS Show, episode 159. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Rom. Hello, all you happy people of the internet. Hello, Rom. How are you doing? I am alive! Yay! I create, I breathe, and I'm hungry. Does oh, anyone wow. have a sandwich? I guess you want to eat them. Uh, sorry about last week, Rom. I, I knew I know you were worried, and I should have told you, but I think I did. I probably skipped the beat somewhere. Yeah, probably. Were you on last week? I mean, last last week. I was waiting all night for you to pop on the line so we can make a recording, but you didn't show, and I was gone mad with worries. You and James, you and James, like you guys were asking me, are we going to record? And then, like, dude, I thought I told you guys I would be on. Last week, like okay, had... if James didn't know about it, then you probably didn't tell us because I had James, the ability no, no, because no. I have the properties to forget. No, <laughs> I, James, and then James remembered. Oh yeah, you're the con. Yeah. Mm. Okay, then I skip. Then my brain skipped the beat. After yeah. all. Again, okay, but anywho, but anywho, uh, also joining us is Kick. Kick us, King, reporting for duty. Hello, Kick. How are you doing, man? Hello. Uh, not bad. Uh, I was free last weekend. Yay! Unfortunately, I've been pulled back in this week. Oh, uh, sorry about that, man. Hey, didn't you send me... Guys, send help. I'm not free. I'm chained to the table. <laughs> Shush. No one should know that. Uh, but anywho... I didn't... have the key. <laughs> Yay. I'm not going to give it, though. Yep, yep. But anywho, uh, okay. didn't you went to the fair um last week? Yeah, that's what I did with my free time. I went on a date. That was about it. Ooh la la. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, it was literally just, oh, I'm not recording a podcast. I have, like, three or four hours spare time. To the fair! And I just took loads of uh, Snapchats and sent them to everyone. Like, look at me, I'm about 50 feet in the air. <laughs> oh, my God! You know it what? Was, uh, I, I'm surprised that they even let you do that with the phone. I thought... They... <laughs> what are they going to do? Oh, no, you can't take your phone on. Why? Because you might drop it. And that's your problem because <laughs> that point, that watch. point, it's, it's my iPhone six. You drop it, your problem. Yep, true that, true that. Also joining us this week is Anti Colapony. Hello. Hello, Anti. How are you doing, man? Hi, I'm okay. <laughs> you Team know, okay. yay, represent. You know what? Uh, you were here. On the last episode, not not this last episode. I think well, one fifty seven, right? Yes. And uh, it seems that this show could not uh, get away from you. Like we need you. We need you, Sunday. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> we need you badly. We need you badly. I don't know about that. <laughs> I need someone well known. <laughs> we need you because you're so senpai. Yeah. Notice us, please. Only one oh, shush. <laughs> this call. Right. Uh, anyway, uh, our guest for this week and the voice that you've been hearing all this time is Yon Lyons. Hello, Yon. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, man? I'm good ish. Good ish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like a rat ish. <laughs> oh, that was so. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> You're killing me! Oh god! Dum 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 dum. So, Johan, uh, first time here, right? Yep. Wow, I've been talking to you for a while now, and I I, fo- I totally forgot you, you you were totally new to this. Yep. Wait, we never had him on the show before? No, nope, no. Well, now. So. Yeah. But bef- before we move on, there's one more person in the call. Whenever there's anti, there's a very cute senpai in the background, so close. They, mu- they must be together, because I ship them. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nicola. Hello. How are you doing? I'm alright, I'm alright. It's cool, it's cool. Uh, so, here again, like I said, you, 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 you two are the perfect match. I'm glad I ship you. No, it's canon. <laughs> Yes, uh, the entire the entire team of okay used to ship them. Yep. They still ship us. We still. We no, no, it, it's canon ship, so it's, there's no it's point. It's always been canon. Yeah, it's a canon ship, so there's no point um adding it adding in. So it's like, hey, um, they're two or a couple. What what else can we do about it? Like, eh. so anywho, uh, before we start, um, uh, Nicola, your answers were every pony and Luna Eclipse, right? 
Yeah. All right. And Pinky Pride. Pinky Pride. Okay. There's nothing to add. So, Yon, you're new. So, you do know what happens now, right? The favorite character on the favorite episode questions. And how did you blah, 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 and stuff and stuff. So, anyway. So, now question number one. Favorite character? Applejack. Why Applejack? Ooh, because she's hard work so and honest. So much dejection there. <laughs> Why Applejack? Whoa! Because she's hard work and honest. Applejack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a valid question, yo. And because I'm somewhat no of a country answer, pumpkin yo. myself. Yeah. All right. There's no wrong answer, but why Applejack? <laughs> That's what your voice said <laughs> there, Norman. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm not going to read... It was the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the most ridiculous thing I ever heard was me doing the artist panel for the Friendship Express. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. This is the second most ridiculous thing, Dan. <laughs> Probably. Third. I don't know. I, I have... The ridiculous thing I've ever heard is the latest installment of this podcast, but you know... Uh, uh, yes, so Applejack. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard was that uh, people want me on their podcast. <laughs> uh, I've, got, I've got like two or three uh, people asking me. Really? Yeah. I'm not the first? You were the first, but uh, Lucky Knife from I'm Prone and I'm Proud was always also asking me. Huh, okay. Alright. I wasn't the first. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but anyway, so next next question is favorite episode. I haven't watched any of them yet. Oh really? Now? Yep. What? Plus I'm for more me. of a fan of the fandom, to be honest. I I have this irrational fear that I won't like the show, and. Then I lose all contact with the fandom and all the friends I made because of it. Hmm. Okay. So. So does it fit your head canon and your mm. fanfics? Not, not that, but I might just not like it. And if I don't like it, I'll break contact with everyone I met in here. Oh, see. Okay. Okay. okay school. School. How can Applejack be your favorite? Can we please move on from that? <laughs> uh, because of the not safe for work picture. Oh god, no. Oh, oh okay. god, no. Okay, okay. Oh god, no, sweetie bump, do something. <laughs> what? She needs the belt, guys. I am, I am an adult. Oh god. But anyway, moving on. Uh, what is the third question in this list? Oh gosh. What do, do your friends I... and family think about your love for the show? Yeah. They don't mind. Oh, okay, cool. I, I think and this question. How did I get into the fandom? Yeah, yeah. I think that's question number four, Rom. That's not a word. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Sweetie, but we need your help. <laughs> that's not a word. That's not a word. Uh, but <laughs> way of life. <laughs> anyway, th- thanks, thank you, Yon. Uh, Sweetie, Sweetie, Sweetie but's gonna have fun, 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 fun. She is. Oh, and I'm gonna have so much fun breaking her circuits. <laughs> Indeed. She's gonna, have, she's gonna have secrets. That's not a word. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> secret, but fun. Uh, yes. They could <laughs> never go wrong. What fun? Uh, but fun. anywho, but anywho. But fun. <laughs> anywho, so um, I, I'm gonna go to housekeeping, and nothing's written there because, well, nothing's happening. Well, there, 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 there is, there is. Um, this is more personal for me because I want to thank the guys who run. The Fresh Express, they ran a really amazing con, even for a first year. I, I do hope that they come back again for a second. And I have to say, w- working with them was a blast. Like, working with the volunteer crew, working with the chairs and everyone, they were awesome. And the attendees, they were the best. Uh, I came there as a guest. And somehow I became a volunteer. Funny story. On day two of the con, I came there and I had a volunteer badge. And one of my co-workers, she said to me that, Hey, let's go to the um, backstage thingy to register our, or to sign in attendance and stuff. And when I said my name, the guy who was checking the whole list didn't find my name. And like, what? Everyone was shocked. 
Like, you're not, um, you're not a, you didn't register, you, you, what? And I said, hmm, I guess I'm a phantom volunteer. Haha. And continue working. And, um, a few hours later, we did the Vincent Tong interview, and, which was fun. I, I sat there, I asked a few questions, and then sickness got to me and I collapsed. Not really collapsed, collapsed, but I went to the backstage place and took a rest. And I, I, I was I dead? But <clears throat> awesome experience, awesome experience. And apparently my sales tactics were, as one of the chairs said, renegade like from Mass Effect. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, let's get into guest time or discussion time. And in this week's show, we have Yon and Nicola. And before I ask you guys to introduce yourself, I, I, I need to start off the story. I need to start off the story. And the story goes like this. About two months ago, I think, something really terrible happened to me. And I was feeling down, really down. People notice and they really ask and stuff. And I, for one, am not the kind of guy who likes to share his feelings and emotion that much because I'm a man kind of deal. Sure you are. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> so anyway... I I was really down and I needed to talk to someone. And James, Jan, Nicola, Lycan, and a few other people help. But the, the few that really helped me beyond, um, way and, um, what's the one I'm looking for? Way and beyond? Above was and it? beyond. Above and beyond, thank you. Above and beyond the Call of Duty <laughs> um, was... Jan and Nicola, and uh, if I'm forgetting someone, I'm sorry. But yeah, they helped me and they gave me advice. They talked to me about my feelings and whatnot. And I in turn listened to them and talk about their feelings, I, if I remember right. Because right now, if you can hear my voice, I am so hopped up on cough medicines right now. And I am not in the brightest place right now. <laughs> so anyway, to repay them or to for, for um, guys any, any words for this because I am derping right now yeah because you were like there are a lot of I was like we need to do an episode on depression because there are a lot of people in this fandom who deal with it or deal with something like it and if we can do something to help them it would be awesome yes thank you Yon. took the words out right out of my mouth are you some kind of magician yep Dang I'm it. a dark mage. Dang it, I knew I shouldn't trust you. <laughs> he, he wants your soul now. I know, he asked me to sign this contract and stuff, and I did. God dang it. But anywho, but anywho. John, mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are? Uh, I'm just another face in the crowd. I'm the guy that walks behind everybody else, making sure they are fine, making sure that nobody's hurting more than they should be, making sure the innocents are not hurting. Basically, you're Batman. No, Batman punishes the guilty. I protect the innocent. Oh. <laughs> I don't know the difference. But... I'm more of a healer than a DPS. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, and Nicola, um, want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Zodiac Nicola. I'm an artist. And I, 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 I like to help people if they're sad and stuff. That's why I liked helping Norman, cause, you know, I don't like to see my friends down. And I, I get really sad and awkward, and I was like, no, don't be like that. Give me a hug. And I'm just like, there, 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 there. There, there, there. Indeed. So, this, before we, before we move on, I'm, I'm gonna say one thing. I'm sorry to the audience who are going to, who are about to listen to this, but it's something that we go through. It's something that we have to deal with in every day. So the topic is not really about how to get rid of it or how to surpass it or something like that. It's technically how to deal with it, right? 
how to survive it. Yes, like. how to survive yeah. it. So, for those who are expecting cheerful, fun, fun times, we are going to do that. We are going to do that. We we we're, we're trying to help. So, bear bear with us for a second, ladies and gentlemen. But Yon, please tell us a story or something like that. Well, I have been di- diagnosed with clinical depression when I was eight years old. And I have been fighting it ever since. I have gotten the best of it at this point, but it might get worse anytime soon. Mm-hmm. The thing is, it can happen to everybody. No matter how rich, no matter how poor, no matter how, what color their skin is. No matter how they are socially, no matter how the status is, it can happen to everybody. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, people always say it's just in your head. Well, of course it is. It's a disease of the brain. That is true. That is true. Just, just like an asthma patient, it's, it's all in their lungs. What Jan said is true. What Jan said is true because each person deals, or each person's experience depression differently. I and everybody's experience is valid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. That's true. That. Um. Um, I want to I want to say just because someone has problems, it doesn't mean that someone else doesn't have any less of a problem. Just because you're going through a lot doesn't mean that another person has something that isn't bad happening to them. Even if that makes sense, like suffering is not a contest. Yeah, everybody's suffering is valid. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you're going through something, never ever say to another person who is depressed. Something along the lines of what you're going through isn't as bad as what I'm going through. Never, ever say that. Because no matter what, you never fully understand what that person is going through. Mm-hmm. Especially if you don't know what they're being depressed about. True. Or like, Depends. you know, what's made... Well, you don't really get depressed about certain things. It's just that, you know, it's it's really hard to explain depression and all that. But you know what I mean, it's, like... It's pretty easy, actually. Mm-hmm. Depression is a game. It... It's not a contest. Everyone suffers and everyone has a hard time. True, some true. suffer from it more than others. Some just can't cope with things and they need to talk to people about it. And if you're that person <coughs> that comes to talk about it, don't ever say, oh, suck it up. <laughs> this isn't a problem. It might not be a problem to you because you're not going through it. What they're going through is a problem and you need to help them. Whether that be just to listen or to actually help them in some way physically, you just you don't ever say something along the lines of, oh, just suck it up or that's not a problem. <laughs> Uh, Indeed, because that—that's all that's going to do. Make it worse, and yeah. make them possibly make them do something drastic. So don't ever just brush it off as it not being bad. Even if it's not bad to you, it's obviously a problem for them. Yeah, it's which it's the whole situation you know. of each person has problems, and it depends on how that person deals with, deals with it, and what do they have in the what what card they have in hand to deal with it. Because, for example, if I have a problem with bills, and let's just say my internet bill is about a hundred dollars a month, and you have this, you have the same, uh, you have the same deal too. It's hundred dollars a month. You can pay it, but I can't. So you're probably just saying, "Why couldn't you pay it? Don't you have a job? We work in the same place." But the pro- the the situation is, we might have different experience in between i may have to take care of other people or i donate my money to charity or something like that so each person is different even though it's the same problem we experience things that different differently we all have different experiences but can i just put it there did you say it was a hundred dollars for your internet bill no i'm just putting an example i was gonna say christ that would make me depressed just thinking about <laughs> that <laughs> Talking, huh? your, your internet bill is a hundred dollars it's what <laughs> Sorry, I'm, okay, I'm just going to quickly check that's not actually how much it costs anyway. Uh, but, yeah. but still, but still. Yeah, and the thing about depression, it's easy to explain in an abstract way, but not in a concrete way. Mm-hmm. The abstract way is it's a miswiring of the brain that makes people have a very, very, very bad day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's really psychological, psychological really, because yep. certain things or certain event may... Can trigger it. Yeah, can trigger it. Or certain things, like if you look at your phone, it may remind you of something that in the past happened. Or maybe looking at a picture may trigger it. It's one of those situations where something 
huge needs to happen or an event or some in some cases it's just some kind of smell so it, it's, it's that's what they mean with a trigger this triggers me mhm mm mhm mm we could just go around this and talk about it uh, for a while but the best thing to do is give practical advice to those who may be suffering for it or may have somebody they know suffer from it mhm mm mhm mm yes i i agree yeah. i agree and the advice I have for people around those who suffer from it, never invalidate that person's suffering. Don't expect them to be the way they used to be. And most of all, don't expect them to do something because it's normal for society, okay? Mm -hmm. And I, I, would, I would add in uh, to be patient with them because sometimes... They may go through the whole thing again and again because, well, sometimes they think they get got better, but something a trigger happened and it breaks them down. So be yep. patient with them, even and also check up on them every now and again because you don't know how bad they have it that day. And if you haven't, if you know someone of your friends that has depression or something like it, and they haven't spoken to you in a while, they might just be asking for help in their way. True that, true that. On that topic, if you are depressed and you feel like you can't talk to someone about it, that's not the way to go because a lot of the times people get depressed and they wait for someone to come to them and that is the time you do need to go and find the, the, whether it be the one person or the group of friends that you think will, or you know will listen to you and take it seriously. Like, mm -hmm. um, to compare it to, of all things, Christ the Children Show. When Twilight and Lesser Zero comes to her friends and they brush her off. Oh, if yeah. that was, instead of her being panicking, if she was depressed, that would be a good example of what friends shouldn't do. Hmm. Yeah. That can trigger suicidal behavior and suicidal Ooh. thoughts. No, no. Nicola, you yeah, saying? I, guess. I was going to say that, um, as some of the people in this call know, that I went through recently a thing that made me very depressed. I stopped eating, stopped drinking, almost ended up in the hospital, you know, it was this is before I knew all you guys and stuff. And um I went through it alone and trust me, it was one of the hardest things I've ever been through. It it's so hard to go through something like that alone. And it's always good if you notice the signs that someone's depressed, help them. If you are depressed, seek help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You may think, oh, I can do this alone. Don't, don't. I've been through it. It's so hard. I was a wreck. And then by the time, and by the time I started actually getting help near the end, it helped a lot. And now when I look back at that thing that got me like that, well, the couple things, it was more than just one thing. I look Chain back at it and be like, yeah, I, I'm like, huh, I was depressed all about that. <laughs> really? Huh. <laughs> Is he, is he so much better now? Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I... with certain events, like, you, you, how do I put this? When you're dealing with emotions and stuff, sometimes it's nice to talk to people about it, but here's what I, what, from my experience, sometimes being with people doesn't really help. Like, being with the right pe person, helps but being with a bunch of friends doesn't because it puts you into a situation where you need to put on a mask just to be around them and that's both true and not true yeah well in my case i that's what i experienced i was yeah, with but... friends but it felt like i was alone like dealing with things that i had to do and trying to make them feel happy and whatnot just it was not kind of the thing that I wanted to go through ever again. And, yeah. I understand that, Norman. But for some people with depression, it's also an escape valve for them to be with friends. Mm, true, true. I mean... Just to get some of the pressure off of it. Mm -hmm. It's different on a person-to-person -person case. Mm -hmm. I don't invalidate your suffering, but don't give people the wrong idea. Mm, true. Here's where things get difficult because certain... Things work for certain people, like what Yon said is true. If you're feeling depressed and you think that being with your friends in an arcade or playing magic or playing whatever you're doing. Or even just on Skype. Yeah, if, if that helps, do it. But if you think that it doesn't, well, 
stop and try find something that helps. Because I heard that exercising works or working it out, like just bringing mm-hmm. those frustrations out helps. But it depends on a pers- um, person-by-person basis. King? Yeah. yeah, that's how I dealt with mine. <clears throat> Uh, that's how that's how I got out of my funk in the past. I literally stopped thinking about what I was doing and just concentrated on getting fitter and healthier. And then eventually, what was thinking about all my problems stopped, and I would just be th- like, go to the gym and instead of thinking, oh, I'm not going to go into it, but this problem here, I just got got out of it by concentrating on something entirely different, mm-hmm. which which happened to be completely physical. But it could be something mental. I mean, take up a new hobby or something like that. That's not a good way to do it, actually. I'm not saying forget about it, but I mean, everyone yeah, deals but... with it differently. That's how I dealt with my mm-hmm. issue. Yeah, but the thing is, trying to focus on something else can make your brain focus on two things at a time and tear itself apart. I've had that happen to me. I, I'm just, I'm just telling you how I, I like, I like how how I, I dealt with mine. I don't know how everyone deals with that stuff. I understand, I understand stuff. but. Everybody deals with it differently, but it's scientifically proven that trying to ignore your problems only makes them worse. I'm not saying ignore, just distract. There's more of a better word for it. it yeah, is, true. I understand what you're trying to say. I just think you're wording it wrongly. Like, yes, like everything like else it... that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no. It's okay, it's okay. Maybe you're just not the best at explaining things, and that's okay. I said that at the beginning. I said that at the beginning. <laughs> That's what my dad tells me every time when I try to explain something to him. Uh, but still, but still, I mean, from the very beginning, we said that each person deals with it in certain ways. And like, Yon here has experience and he went through it and he has doctor reports and whatnot. Yes. But like King said, it works for him. It doesn't work for me. And it doesn't work for Yon. I mean, it, it depends on a person by person basis. It's a case by case basis. So whatever it is, we're just giving you tips on how to deal with it and how to at least look for help. Like it could be serious that you need to seek professional help or it could be just not that serious thing that you could just ask for friends to help. And if you're lucky enough, friends can help you go a long way. But the most important thing to remember when you're depressed, people do still care about you. Mm-hmm. It might seem like the entire world is going dark and nobody cares about you anymore. Believe me, we still do. True, 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 true. And I put my Skype in the show notes so that everybody who needs someone to talk to that's independent from them or just needs someone to vent to, they can come to me. All right, cool, cool. I'll remember to do that. And yeah, the thing is, we here on the MBS show want to make people happy. And apparently people say that my voice keeps them happy. I don't know how. I sound like a truck right now. Yeah, but it's your full truck. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. But we have Thomas the Tank Engine. We have Laurie the, Lo- uh, Laurie the Leroy. Now we have Norman the Laurie. Leroy the Laurie. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Kate, you said Laurie the Leroy. It's supposed to be Leroy I know. The I meant to say Leroy the Laurie. But uh, it came out of that. Uh, doesn't matter. So, yeah, I mean, we here on the MBS show want to make people happy and we'll try and do it in any way we can, especially making us look like fools. Or making me look like a fool. We're all fools uh, in the MBS show. Well, uh, no, no, no. Especially you, then. <laughs> yeah, so. But, anywho, does anybody else have to say about something about this? Just that we all care. Don't think that nobody cares, okay? True that, true that. We, we, we care, we care. Even though how silly we are and how... Even though we don't know you personally, we still care. Mm-hmm. That is true, that is true. So, if you're listening to this, give us a tweet, give us email, give us a Facebook message or something like that. Just... Ping me on Skype if you want to. Mm, true. We're there, we're there to listen. I, well, at least I know, I, me and Yon are, I'm not sure about the rest. <laughs> The others um, might have their own problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, always message me on Tumblr, DeviantArt. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe not my uh, my Skype, but any other website where I post art and stuff, mm-hmm. you can just message me on there. It's fine. Yeah. We're, we're here to listen. We're here to talk to you. 
And if you're feeling, if you have a crappy day and want to talk to someone, we're here to help. We, we'll just talk to you. We'll just have, we'll have a great time talking. And you can say, oh my God, I talked to that guy. And their friend would say, who's that guy? And you know that guy. And they just say, I don't know. He's crazy. Let's move on. Uh, I'm not I pre- talked to a famous person. Well, he's not that famous. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Ah, ah, that's so sad. Uh, but anywho, but anywho, on a final note, on a final note, if you guys feeling down, remember, help is just uh phone calls away or a conversation away or a click away. Mm-hmm. Just talk to someone, and if you feel that they're not the right person to talk to, stop. Just look for someone else who's willing to spend their time and talk to you, because. There are surely a lot of people who are willing to help. But anywho, but anywho, sorry for that uber serious moment because I know someone said that people who listen to this show want to escape from reality. And yeah, talking about that, some people don't really want that. But anyway, uh, moving on to the news. Ro, it's your time. Yep. Hello, everybody. My name is Rolicious, and this is News Time. And in today's News Time, Rainbow Dash Yahtzee looks to actually be Rainbow Dash. A while back, a Yahtzee Rainbow Dash edition game was announced. Nothing much is known about this edition, but it has a full modeled Dash figurine for it. Of course, it's only the prototype, but it will be interesting to see where they steer it. Links can be found in the show notes below. So, guys, Yahtzee, who here to play it? I have no idea what the hell that is. Yahtzee. I love to play the game. It's basically basically a counting game to play with five dice. Mm Mm-hmm. So, okay, Jan, you, you seem to be the only one experienced here because I got no idea what Yassi is. So, teach us how to play this game so we can appreciate this news. You basically have a paper score card. You have five die, just normal D6. You roll all five of them and you can count the amount of points you get for, for the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives, the sixes. You can also roll a full house. That's two of one and three of another. Three of a kind, four of a kind, and Yahtzee, which is five of a kind. And there's also the random score, where you can just add all the points and uh, get that as a score. So, what's the basic setup for Yahtzee? Like, what, if you buy the board game, what do they give you? It's not a board game. Oh, really? It's a cup, five dice, and a block of paper, and a pencil. It's a dice game. And the, and the, Rainbow Dash figurine might is probably just a cup you put dice in and uh, roll them out of. Well, it is still the prototype, but whenever you say dice game, I always think about you know Pirates of the Caribbean, <laughs> with Davy Jones. What was that game called? The Blind Man's Bluff, was it? I don't know. Dead Man's Bluff, probably. Yeah, intense. If it's Dead Man's Bluff, it's an actual old game. I read about it somewhere. But that's off topic. True, true. But I don't know, I mean, this Yatsi Rainbow Dash thingy, it looks like fun, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, it's a basis by basis thing. Like, if you play Yatsi and enjoy ponies, hey, this is something for you. Nicola, do you play Yatsi? No, I, I never, I, I've heard of it, but I never knew what it was before this, huh. right now. Well, you I guess you... it's not something we really have in the UK. I guess it's an American thing. Yeah. It's more of a European thing. Really? Oh. The Netherlands has it, Germany has it, Belgium has it, France has it, Switzerland has it. It's a worldwide game, but not everyone knows about it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you, Ro? Have you heard of it and played it? I've heard of it many times, but I have not played it. I thought it was that game with that weird board with the letters and that weird triangle or thingy. Ouija board? Oh, yeah, that's, not... <laughs> no, that's a Ouija board. That's something different. <laughs> that's I thought that was the guy. Different. I, am really, I have not played a single board game in, like, I don't know, ages. What was the last board game you played, Ro? Uh, let me just try to remember. The last board game I played was probably Checkers back in the hospital when oh. I had a heart attack. Oh, ouch. I think so, yeah. Good times, good times. Not a lot of interesting people. Uh, okay. Oh, um, fun, um, fun trivia for you people out there. If you want to play board games, go get Tabletop Simulator. It's, uh, well, as the name says, it's a Tabletop Simulator. But here's the best part. There's, um, whatchamacallit, mods or plugins 
out there that allows you to play uh, different kind of games. And one of the games that I really want to play with you guys is uh, Twilight Secret Ship Fig Folder. Ah, oh, I played that at Burke. Uh, oh. A girl, a girl um, says that she went to a US con and brought brought it while she was there. We were all sat in the um, we were sat in the um, the, ho- host- the the hostel um, like uh, downstairs area playing it with two of the musicians of that and like and then it was so much fun and it was so weird. Oh yeah. And What's it about? Okay, here's the thing. Like, um, I've played it also at the recent con, and oh my god, it's so mad. Long story short, you know what, Nicola, you played it more than me, so why don't you explain it? Sorry for stealing your thunder. I, I didn't play it, but like, I kind of played it. I kind of helped someone play it. But, like, I was there whilst they're playing. It. There's a card in the middle, and it's all about shippings. And there's like, <laughs> oh, what is it? There's like a, a card that you join off of, and then you pick two cards or something along those lines. Yeah. Like, uh, there's like a card like a uh, ship two female characters so you put two female characters down and then there's cards like uh, the changeling cards where you can like become a certain pony well, from, and then re- achieve like certain things and stuff like that yeah, from, from what I understand there's um, I think four cards that are being played the first card that's the only card is Twilight Sparkle herself and she's mm-hmm. the author of the ship fic and you have the pony cards or the character cards event cards, and also uh, goal cards. The goal of the game is to collect points to win scores, which is uh, in the goal. Um, you, they ha- There are three goal cards that are in play, and each player have about seven cards in hand. And you ship ponies with events, and for example, certain situations like the starting card is Twilight Sparkle, and you put the event, which is um, falls in love with, you play a character card, which is, let's just say, Twilight Sparkle herself. And if something in the goal says, uh, ship Twilight Sparkle with Twilight Sparkle, you win the goal automatically, something like that. And it's a pretty fun game, and it's free online. You can download the PDF or whatever and print it out yourself. My favorite part about Tabletop Simulator, you can flip the table. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You can actually flip the table. Is, is there, is, isn't there a mod for Yu-Gi-Oh! also? Yes, there is. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, that's going to be a long topic. Should we move on? Yes, yes, yep. yes. Uh, final In time. Off news. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to talk about Cards Against Equestria. Uh, <laughs> this is... Moving on swiftly! <laughs> <laughs> Safe for work, Kaden. Andy! <clears throat> Cadence and Shiny Armor, Hot Topic, Funko Delayed. Apparently, we have to wait a little longer for our Funko Shining Armor and Cadence figure. It seems that the port issue on the West Coast are still causing a bit of a havoc. Thanks for the time. Show us below. Yes, yes. And, well... Okay, how long has this whole boat protest, whatever the hell's going on in the West Coast, is going on? I don't know, my friend. Don't, don't know. ship Cadence and Shining Armor. Or don't ship Cadence. <laughs> Isn't it what you call it? OTP original, whatever the TP stands Official cannon ship. Yeah, isn't it official? Yep. So why can't we not? Don't ship it. I hope it's it. official, it's but they're married. Testing against the ship. Exactly, they're married. You don't need to ship them. I mean, that's it. The deal is sealed. <laughs> <laughs> ship them. <laughs> I'll nail on the coffin. They're married. Oh, oh. I ship. I ship it so much they call me UPS. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. oh, there's a card in um, Twilight Secret Ship Fit called "It's Not Creepy." I thought we moved on from bad news. I know, but I just had to relate it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah. So, please, gentlemen, please be patient. I'm pretty sure they're working on the issue. Yep, true that, true that. I gave you my heart and then you turned around. <laughs> and moving on to the next news. Daniel Ingram to announce number of season 5 songs and new MLP album. Daniel Ingram recently announced that he will be attending BAPSCON. He will also be a guest at the music panel alongside Adria Liebman, Rebecca Soyshit, a.k.a. Sancho Shimmers, and Stefan Andrews. He will also bring along a special unreleased song to play for the audience as an exclusive world premiere, as well as make some pretty exciting announcements, such as the number one, the number of songs in Season 5, and when is the new soundtrack album coming out. Links can be found in the show notes below. Yay! This oh. is fun for people who are going to PepsCon. Oh. You hate oh. it when you're going to go, right? I know. It's that exclusive. I want to hear. World premiere. 
I'm pretty sure message, someone's going to record it and put it on YouTube, so... Uh, yeah. It's not the same. Trust me. I know, I know. But what <laughs> else do we have? They should live stream that uh, convo, though. I think they are. I'm 100% sure. But uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for this. I am excited for this. Spoilers for the song... Um, which I don't really mind, but I am excited for the album, the season, the third album in the collection. Yeah, I've already got two of them. I want a vinyl. Uh, what? You got a vinyl? Think, no, I didn't get a vinyl. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> he wants to buy another. Oh, okay. I want to buy another. Mm. The thing That's is, it, he released I heard two, right? I, I heard the, the song they are playing at Babscon is not going to be a, a season song, but just a scrapped song. It says here uh, unreleased, so it won't be released. Yeah, it's one of those situations where it's a rejected, probably a rejected song, but still. Yeah, he made it and has said, eh, maybe not. Yeah. Which is kind so of he still cool. loves it and wants to, sh- wants to sh- share it with us. And he's like, eh, why not? Yeah, we've, it, it could be, <laughs> it could be a pet shop song. So, uh uh-uh. The littlest pet shop. Yep. Yep. Yeah. My little pet shop. <laughs> <laughs> My little fat shop. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, oh god, I I can't wait. I can't wait. So, for those people who are going to BabsCon, congratulations on you guys. Go go have fun. Don't don't forget to visit Daniel Ingram's panel on um, April fifth. He'll be there and he'll be doing a panel there with Stefan Andrews and Andrea Lipman and Rebecca Shoykat. So go there, have fun, like. Record something for us, like what I did with uh, the Friendship Express, with how I recorded the Vincent Tong interview. Oh god, that was so cool! Like, record it for us so we can watch it, please. We can't go there. Yeah, true that, true that. And did you guys know that Vincent Tong is, um, well, his parents is actually from Hong Kong. Oh, really now? Yeah, really. Really? Cool. Mm. Which is cool. And also, if I remember right, he played a prank on someone with, with his um, Chinese accent. <laughs> if you want to listen to the joke, just go to uh, my personal YouTube channel, um, Norman Sanzo, and look for the video there, because it's fun. <sighs> but anyway, take us out, Ro. This has been News Time with your host with the most relishes, <clears throat> and we'll see you next time. Indeed, indeed. So anyway... If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com. And if you want to reach us personally, you can reach us, well, links are in the show notes. You can also reach the show on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. Tweety Bot will probably sigh in defeat with this episode. And you also can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And tickling my fancy right now is... The Friendship Express is a fun con. I wish they do year two, and I wish Vincent Tong can come in person. Yay! But Norman, we didn't swear that... That's not a word! ...much. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, oh. Tickling your fancy, is that what they call it now? The oh! <laughs> Ro, where can they find you? You can find me <laughs> on my Twitter. <clears throat> you can find me on my Twitter, Relicious underscore art, or my Tumblr, ReliciousGallery.tumblr.com, or my DeviantArt, Relicious.DeviantArt.com. In, and King, where can they find you? Same place as always. I just, you know, TV Art, Tumblr, Skype, uh, Steam, Xbox, my house, England, <laughs> um, Pinterest, Instagram, MySpace. In- I don't Facebook. have Instagram. <laughs> I do have, do I still have MySpace? Oh my god. Twitter? One second. Oh god. Friendster, oh. Friendster. Oh, Friendster's oh, dead. Friendster. Oh god. Friendster. <laughs> Oh. Fine, yeah. Oh, yeah Interest. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have any of these. But anyway, uh, Anti, where can they find you? Uh, I'm a and tickler I've also got a Tumblr called movies dot Tumblr dot com. He said, "Ask oh, China, China movie, movie, movie." Yeah. Movies. Ask China movie. Ask China movie. But anyway, uh, Yon, where can they find you? Right behind them if they turn around right now. <laughs> no! <laughs> no he's not Just there. kidding. You, you can find me on Skype at Yon Lions. That's Y-O-N-L-I-O-N-Z. You can find me on Tumblr uh, with the same thing. And for the rest, I'm keeping it private. <laughs> yes, nobody needs to know. Yes. <laughs> so, Nicola, what about you? Um, Zodiac Nicola on Tumblr, 
um, Fur Affinity and um, Zodiac NLH on DeviantArt. Ah, cool. Awesome, awesome. I'll be sure to link everything in the show notes. So, before we end, before we end, I just want to say that it was fun having you guys here. It was fun. Th- thank you for coming on and you're most welcome to come on again, everyone. Okay, next week, same time? Yep, it's next week, same time. Just don't break any <laughs> knives. Yep. <laughs> Aww. And, Wait, how did uh, she know I was playing with a knife? <laughs> <laughs> we we can see you, Yon. We can see experience, you. Experience, man. Experience. <laughs> ah, darn it. Bro knows me too well. Uh, and also, I was actually referring to Nicola, but <laughs> what? What were you referring to me? I what? Playing with knives. Playing with knives. What? <laughs> she, she she knows where I keep he's, the knives. He's, he's making a call back to the episode we interviewed you on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, also. Uh, I just wanted to bring update on the status about the gaming thing I'm, I said on the panel I did, which is also on the YouTube, which you should, no, which is pre- the previous episode. Uh, on the previous episode, I mentioned that we're going to, well, I'm trying to start the gaming channel, and from the looks of it, we're almost close. Ain't that right, King? I, yes and no. <laughs> uh, we need to... Basically, so far the footage is of me running circles around other people, and that's not fun for anyone. Apart from me, it's great fun for me. <laughs> well, we, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do, man. We'll see what we can do, because we need to get that gaming channel up, because people want to see us derp. I don't derp. I, I own. I own. Why, did, I why would they want to see you derp? They can already hear you derp every week. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can catch us on polyverlife.com. Links are in the show notes. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Relicious. I'm Kekas King. I'm still Young Lions. Uh, but face for gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Zodiac Nicola. And we'll see you next week with more fun and me not losing my voice in the process we lost auntie where'd he go oh no what's your secret butt bun <laughs> Nicola Red what'd you do okay and we will see you next time on the next podcast Bye-bye. bye 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 Yeah, yeah. I think that's question number four, Rom. But well, let hey, it be. What, what is your favorite question? Then? That's not a word. No. That's not a word. No. <laughs> <sighs> PG friendly guys. Well, you know, friendly. Friendly. Not regular. Speaking of, not regular. Sorry. <laughs> Speaking of, that's how I got into, into the fandom. That's not a word. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Really, you have to pick that game. It's amazing. <sighs> okay. Oh, do you remember when, Ki- remember when you played it, Kit? Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> do you two remember when I was streaming and you said, have you watched this game? No, I haven't. Wait, what? I'll play it. Good, good game. Oh, this oh, is pretty cool. I am glad this is recorded. Oh. It's a oh. cool little game, bro. Uh, you should check yeah. it out. It's called okay, anyway. Let's make my phone okay, then. Right. Uh, I wish you were really, really... That's not a word. All right, so, three, two...